welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley. I'm Kylie. And today we're gonna to be, well, I'm gonna be watercoloring, <laughs> but today we're gonna to be talking about painting flowers. So there's two basic approaches to watercolor painting flowers. Well, really anything, but we're gonna stick with flowers today. Um, there's the paint and the sketch then paint. Yes? So I'm gonna show you the same flower painting with no sketch and then painting with a sketch. So I'm gonna start by painting this flower while Kylie starts the sketch. So she's gonna do the sketch for me while I'm painting. Um, let's show you the flower. I don't know how you say, what, how do you say this one? So here is the flower that we're gonna be painting. So I am going to um, show you how I would approach this flower, just going straight in and then we'll paint with the sketch. So let's turn the camera around and get to painting. We are all set up now. I have my Daniel Smith paints. Um, if you want to see swatches of this entire palette, I do have a video up. I will link that below. Kylie is sitting next to me and we're looking at the same reference photo. She's gonna start sketching the flower while I just go for it and start painting it. Um, advantages and disadvantages to both. Let's discuss the advantages of just painting. Um, Obviously it's quicker. <laughs> I wanna use this, but I feel like it's gonna to be too big. All right, so I'm using a round Master's Touch size 12. All right, so the advantages of painting without sketching obviously is it's quicker. Another thing that I personally love about just going in and painting is um, it's a little bit more loose and organic. It's a little bit more relaxing and freeing. It's just, it, the painting process of just going in and painting, as long as you're not stressing over where you're placing your brush anyways. Um, <laughs> some people might, might do that, but I find that just going in and painting can be very freeing and fun. So, Disadvantages to obviously disadvantages to just going in painting would be uh, worrying that you're not going to do it right. <laughs> if you have a mapped out plan of it, it it might be a little bit more stress free for you. So it kind of depends on your personality. Sorry, I'm trying to get the right shade <laughs> um, mixed up. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, get a little bit of this cerulean. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here. So I've got my color mixed up. One thing I really recommend doing, especially if you haven't painted a bunch of flowers or painted a bunch and you're not familiar with your brushes and you're doing brush strokes and all of that. So especially in the beginning, I highly recommend using reference photos. So for this particular flower, another thing to ease the um, stress possibly of just going straight in is to start by painting with water. So. I'm looking at my reference photo and I'm gonna do a petal with water here. And then I'm gonna take one here. So you can kind of map out where your flower's gonna be with water. And that way, if something looks odd, you can change it before you put the color down okay so now I'm gonna take some color you probably can't you can see a little bit of that can't you and then I'm gonna drop a little bit of this purple in at the tips of those petals I'm drying my brush off and then I'm just going to kind of smooth out that gradient there. Again, a lot of the style for sketching versus just going in would be more typically have a looser style doing it this way. Um, but you can get detailed even if you aren't using a sketch. 
Okay, so I've got the basic shape of my flower. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of green so we can see where that stem comes out. So this is the center of my flower here and we're just gonna come down from there. Just gonna touch that there and I can see a little bit of the like base and bowl of this flower here. So I'm gonna do a triangle come in here and touch it to that flower. Can't really tell what the leaves look like for this one. I don't see any leaves in the picture. So we're gonna stick with the stem for right now. All right, so I'm going to, you can let that dry for a bit. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and put in some yellow. I'm gonna take my CAD yellow medium. This is my favorite yellow to use. And we're gonna put the center of this flower in right here. Yeah, it's definitely gonna spread a little bit, but that's fine. Again, I'm doing a little bit looser of a style right now. And then I'm going to let this dry and then we're gonna do some more details on this flower to kind of help shape it out a little bit more. So I'll be right back. I am impatient. So while that's still drying, I wanna paint another one <laughs> because I am impatient. <laughs> so I'm gonna put another one here and this time I'm kind of just, <laughs> I'm kind of just going where I want and I'm not looking at the reference. So I'm just gonna put some petals in. This one's facing that way. So these front ones are really short. And then we got these back ones here. So you can see just the edge of those petals. So again, I'm gonna take this purple and I'm gonna touch the tips of these petals. Drying the brush off and pulling this color down. And I find a lot of times once you get used to painting shapes of flowers and you get used to the anatomy of flowers, sometimes it's actually easier to just paint the flowers without looking at a reference. Um, but is definitely much easier in the beginning to use a reference photo. All right, so this one is still wet, but I think it's dry enough that I can put some details in. So I'm gonna go in with a, a smaller brush. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm gonna get just that same purple. And we're gonna kind of detail outline some of these just a little bit so we can see where those petals actually are. And this one is kind of curved and has a little fold. And then we've got a forward facing one here. I'm gonna come up like so. So basically what I'm doing here is kind of sketching them <laughs> after the fact. If you really want to think about it, you're kind of sketching still. <laughs> it's sketch and paint or paint and sketch. Yes. It's which, which direction do you want to do this? Do you want to sketch first? <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. Okay. And so we've got... Uh, and then I'm going to put a little bit more depth at the tippy top of these. And in here to show that kind of shadow where it's folded over. And 
underneath here, taking very light wash of this. Okay. I don't like this brush. It's not a sharp enough point. I want this one, but it's bent. Let's see if I can use it anyways. If you know how to reshape brushes, please let me know in the comments below. Because <laughs> this is one of my favorites and it's wonky. It's lovely audio, isn't it? Okay, and now I'm going to take the yellow. Let's see what the yellow thing looks like. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's like it's got little loop de things, but I'm just going to kind of put some lines and squiggles in there for the center. Are you done sketching? I don't know. You don't know? Smoothing out some of these lines. I'm just taking a wet brush and... It's not a great sketch. It's okay, baby. A basic sketch for painting doesn't have to be. Yeah, but it also might get really small. Mm, that's fine. Okay, so here is my flower painting first, and um, then you know you do the same to the other one. So we're gonna move on to the sketch now and paint on top of Kylie's beautiful sketch. Okay, so here is Kylie's sketch. I'm going to dab the needle eraser on it to soften these lines. So we don't want them to show up too much. If they show a little, it's totally fine. Since this is a smaller flower, um, I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'm gonna take, this is the squirrel hair brush that came with my White Knights paint set. And so it's gonna be the same, same basic process, but you have a guideline. And a lot of times when I go off of a sketch, instead of just plopping color in the shape of a petal, I will do one petal at a time with this. And what I'll do is I will fill the petal up with water first. So let's take this one here and you can kind of slow down and study the shadows a little bit more and all of the details. So I'll do one petal at a time and really slow down and focus. So the top of this petal is more purple and goes into more white, yes? So same thing as the last one, but we're gonna take that purple shade and I'm gonna touch it to the top of that petal. Kind of let that fade down. A little bit more. <laughs> fade that down where it meets the base. Is it darker? Mm. It's kind of whitish. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so do one petal at a time. So from there, I'll go to this one on this side. And I'm gonna paint it with water first and do the exact same thing. All right, so that petal is wet. Take my purple, tap it at the top. Oops. <laughs> That's really funny. That was not the paper towel, that was the paper. There, it's all gone. <laughs> Whoops, then this was wet. Oh, I'm just a hot mess. All right, so concentrating the color at, did it again, <laughs> the tip of the petal and then having it fade to white. Oh, goodness. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. And you can also not, not wet it and just go in with color first. So let's take this one, for example. We're going to go on the tip. And then we're going to rinse the brush out, kind of dry it off, and then just pull that color down. So there's different ways of approaching how you paint in anything really. <laughs> but doing these one at a time and kind of singling them out um, can help you focus more on the shadows of each individual petal. That makes sense? So again, a lot of times when I'm deciding whether to sketch or not to sketch, it's a matter, mm. it's a matter of if you're wanting to be loose or detailed. So generally when I'm wanting to do something a little bit looser, I'm not going to sketch first, but if I want something that's super detailed, that's generally how I decide, um, to sketch or not to sketch. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay. I'm lifting a little bit here. So it kind of bled. But see how I'm just taking the individual petals. So we've got petals. And again, after they're dry, you can go in and do more. But um, it's a basic petals. I'm going to go ahead and put the stem in now. Make sure I'm still on screen here. And we're just going to get some more water there. <laughs> Fill this in. gonna rinse my brush off and kind of fade this green up into the rest so every time you rinse remember to tap off your brush so you can get rid of excess water because if you put more water into this it's gonna be um, a mess it's all about learning that water control um, ideally this is gonna be dry now and then we're going to put the stamen in is that the right word? Stamen? All right, so I'm just gonna take this yellow and hope it doesn't bleed too much. And I'm just gonna put in these little lines. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to go back and just very, very ever so slightly adding a little bit more purple to the edges. And I'm gonna try to do this very, very tiny lines. need a very small tip brush and then I'm going to wipe the brush off and kind of just soften those edges a little bit okay all right so there is a flower starting with a sketch <laughs> And a flower starting with no sketch. And then one that's halfway done. <laughs> I could finish that one. But. So I hope that helped. I hope it maybe um, gave you an idea of when to sketch and when not to sketch. And depending on, you know, the style you're wanting to go for. And um, yeah, just so Kylie thinks um, I need to sketch. So I do. <laughs> she thinks that it's not going to be the same if it's two different artists. So is not so i'm going to sketch this is the reference photo i think you did a fabulous sketch of it though so give me a second oh you're back let me sketch okay i'm gonna go ahead and paint the one that i sketched that way kylie says it needs to be um a direct comparison from the same artist so um here's my sketch uh, i took way too long to do it
All right, so if we compare my sketch versus my non-sketch version, there we go, to sketch or not to sketch. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I hope that it helped. Um, maybe you get a grasp of when you should sketch or when you shouldn't, or um, just the reason behind those who sketch and don't. But I mean, there's like I've said, there's no wrong, there's no right. There's whatever works for you. So um, I wanna challenge you to pick a flower and paint it both ways. If you do do this, tag us on Instagram. I'd love to see your sketch versus non-sketched flower. And um, we might do this a monthly challenge or something where we have sketch versus non-sketch. Um, might do that like on Instagram or something. All right guys, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and you wanna see our future videos, hit, hit the subscribe. That, yep, that was you, go ahead. Down below. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, it's not dry yet. No, it's not. Where's your f? What's a foof? What's a f? <laughs> it's down there, but we don't have an extra pluggy oh, plug yeah, now. Ouch. <laughs> Donk. <laughs> this stupid thing keeps getting in my way. Um, I forgot what the end of that sentence was. <laughs>